Hello. Welcome to yet another episode of Roaming Fruits Gallivanting. Today we are making a trip from The Hague in the Netherlands to Paris, France by bus. Specifically by Flixbus. We will be doing a review of Flixbus on the Hague Paris route. We did something similar for Blablacar bus on the Paris Hague route. We are currently making our way to the bus station or bus stop for Flixbus in Den Haag. Flixbus and Blablacar buses appear to almost always share the same stations in most of the European countries in which they operate. The Flixbus station is located at the Den Haag Central Station. This is the largest transportation station in the city of The Hague. We are finally at the outer upper deck of the Den Haag Central Station where the Flixbus bus is usually stationed to pick up passengers. You can see the bus ahead of us. Today, we are doing a night ride from The Hague to Paris, the journey is expected to last about 8 hours. It was exciting to note that the bus was a double-decker. And of course, roaming fruits were allocated to the upper deck section of the bus. The interior of the bus appeared to be cozied up for a night trip, and the staircase wasn't too steep for most people. Notably however, there appeared to be more seats at the top of the bus than at the lower section. We did not count the number of seats, but from observation with the eye, that's how it seemed. The legroom appeared to be small, especially in comparison with that of the Blablacar bus we took on our journey from Paris to The Hague. Just like what pertained with the Blablacar bus we took from Paris to The Hague, this Flixbus bus had trays for passengers where one could place you food items or gadgets. It was interesting to note that there were no charging ports for phones and other such devices. Unless we skipped it, but there were no easily visible charging ports in sight. We finally set off at around 11.55 pm, and the estimated time of arrival was at about 8 am. We made about 4 stops to drop off and pick up new passengers in the entirety of the 8 hour journey. Can't remember the exact location of the stops, but there was a stop somewhere in the Netherlands, and some others in Belgium and France. These stops were made before we got to the final destination in Paris Bercy. We traveled through a long and cold autumn night, and it was daylight by the time we got to the city of Paris.
It was a long but smooth ride on the Flixbus bus. It however had more downsides than the Blablacar bus ride from The Hague to Paris. Some of which are the smaller leg rooms and lack of charging ports. In all however, it was an average ride because we will score Blablacar higher on the same route. Thanks for watching, and please like and share this video. Also remember to subscribe if you haven't yet, and do turn on the bell notification for when we post subsequent videos. Cheers!